Hello YouTube world. Merry Christmas. This is um, my Christmassy pour. <laughs> I'm not into bright colours, um, i.e. reds, um, greens, golds, not really. So this is going to be a wintry scene. So hopefully you'll go okay. Just going to be a swipe with my twist on a swipe. Which I've really been enjoy doing actually. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. It's based on one I did a couple of videos ago. I did a black and white one, black, white, and silver. <clears throat> and I had lots of lovely comments, so thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to get going. I'm going to do a flip cut for the sky actually, do a black base, and then we're going to swipe with titanium weight. Um, I've kind of run out of gloves, <laughs> so I'm just going to have to be washing my hands in between, in between stages. So, what am I going to do first? I think I'm going to go midway with my wave, and this is going to be black. So I'm just going to paint sides black before I do anything else. Um, I do this. I've got, this is nearly empty actually, but I'll use this to paint the sides. There's always plenty more paint left in a container. <laughs> Incidentally, I use this, this is picture tape. I get this from the range. I've be, Previously, I have used masking tape. That always bled. I've used um, gaffer tape. <laughs> that ripped the canvas off. This is just, you think it's not very sticky, but it's just brilliant stuff. And it's so cheap. And um, I always put it on the back of my canvases. So get rid of the excess paint off your base. Very often a lot of people cut this out of um, a video because it is so time consuming. I mean, I sped this up quite a lot, probably around, I, I normally speed it up about, I don't know, sometimes a thousand percent because obviously you don't want to be watching me do this, but then it gives you a false impression of actually how long it takes to put a base coat down. Now, if your base coat is on the thick side, you'll just be here forever and you don't get, you, I found, I was doing tests yesterday and my base coat was too thick and I was just getting my knickers in a twist before I even started. Always pop your air bubbles because those will rise to the surface when it's dry and you'll get little dimples all over your all over your painting. <clears throat> Learned that the hard way. Okay, so we're gonna do flip cup for the sky. Simply using pearl white and titanium white. Mind you, I do like the effect of silver in the sky as well. <gasps> oh, I have a, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of extreme sheen left of silver. It's on order and I wanted to use it in this pour, but it's not coming till after Christmas. So I'm very upset about that. But let's use it in the sky, I think. It's been stood up like that for a couple of days to get the dregs out. Stay there. Okay. Stay there. Right. 
I'll start off with titanium weight in the base. Now my flip cut paint is quite thick. And I've just made this up actually, so this is a bit throffy. So there we go. Now, if I've not mentioned it before, <laughs> I'll mention it again, that I really like um, a spoon. Hold on. I really like pearl white and titanium white together. I'm just going to dribble in a little bit of table paint here. Table paint, somebody asked me what that was. It's leftovers, scraped off, scraped up kept <laughs> so hopefully there'll be a little bit oh <gasps> oh my word do not panic that could have been so much worse <sighs> calm be calm well, hopefully that will look lovely. <laughs> what am I like? I was doing tests yesterday and I was filming them. And um, I was so, I was fingers and thumbs. I was all over the place. I don't know what was wrong with me. Obviously, it's no different today. <laughs> okay, let's see how we go. There's quite a lot of paint here, so move that out of the way. going to grab my paint catcher go up So I'm not going to stretch that anymore because you, you can see it quite very will qu quickly go beyond stretching too much because you it begins to pull on the canvas um, and you get you get little zigzags so if you can stop it just before that you'll be fine um, that silver is going to start to come through at the top which will be nice because I, I wanted some darkness at the top so so far so good.
I'm going to leave this for I give I'm going to give it 20 minutes I'm going to put you on time lapse okay so dragging your stick through you saw me use a small small strip of kitchen roll and sometimes actually I go back in Ooh. sometimes I cut the kitchen roll to a point so that I don't disturb the, the top line too much um, but I don't need to with this one because I've got some natural breaks where where the kitchen roll overlaps I've got some natural breaks that I can use so there's very definitely a foreground here and a mid-ground, background, whatever you call it. So I'm going to work on this part here first. Thick end, thin end, use both. So, quite pleased with this actually, it's quite complex, a lot of shapes, these little wispy bits will continue to expand, I hope, and the sky will continue to develop, hopefully be quite kind of, not angry, but a quite a complex sky. So when it dries, hopefully you'll have this white band there. Um, so it looks like snowfall. And all the silvers, there's three different silvers in this painting. And you've got the foreground, the darkest bits here. So let's hope it dries well. Stay tuned, because if this does dry well, then this is going to be a giveaway. And stay tuned to the end so you can find out how to get your hand. So we're back with the dried results. <laughs> I know I stood way back from it. It's on the easel over there. But you just, I, I hope I can video this well, because this painting changes in the different lights. So I'm, I'm going to go closer. It looks very subtle, doesn't it? Really subtle. But then as you come closer, watch carefully. I, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. That sky. Let's go a bit closer. 
See if I can get it to change. That pearl, the pearl in the white and a little bit of silver in that sky. Just is beautiful. I'm going to trip over my steps. Sorry. Let's get to... So if you look at it from one angle, do you see it's got darker? And then you walk past it, it changes. It's like magic. Mm. Lovely. And then the silver gets more complex. And even that, the base changes in the different lights. It's very subtle in, in some you know, some shades and others, it gets dark, I see. Let's just pick it up. See? See how the silver really does come in and out. That's one of my favorite paintings. Come on, focus in. It's gone out of focus. Anyway, let's put that back. If you would like to get your hands on this painting, it's my Christmas giveaway. And you just have to do three small things. Number one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, what was the name of the Christmas carol that was playing in this video? It's my favorite Christmas carol ever. And number three, if you want to win this painting, just comment on this video below the name of the carol and that you'd like to win it. You can comment as usual, even if you don't want to, but if you mention the, the carol in your comments and that you want to win it, I know that I'll put your name into a hat. And at the end of January, we'll do a prize draw. You will be liable for postage and packaging wherever you live in the world. And I will try and list those prices in the description below. But let's face it, you're not paying for the painting, are you? So <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support this year. It really has meant a lot. We've got some exciting things happening Early next year, collaborations coming up with well-known artists and not so much well-known artists. Um, so I'll be looking forward to that. Thank you. Bye.